Michelle here and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own water bottle lantern. So first things first, make sure you have your adult's permission before starting any project. And with this lantern, I know it's a lantern, but you have to use artificial light. You can't use fire. Do not put a candle into your water bottle. It will melt. So what you'll find in your kit is you'll find a little container of glue and you'll find your water bottle which has a glow stick and some tissue paper. I'm going to dump the tissue paper out and you can use to apply the glue to the water bottle. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush, you can use a q-tip. I'm going to use my fingers and get a little messy today. So what you'll do is you'll kind of decide how you want what colors you want to use, you'll have a variety of colors in your cup, in your bottle. And I'm just going to put them all and just make hodgepodge and see how that comes out. So I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to dip it in my glue. And I'm just going to kind of smear it on. Just kind of paint the glue onto your water bottle. It is washable glue, so it will wash off your hands. It is good old fashioned, all purpose school washable glue. So see, I painted that one and I'm gonna put a piece of purple on. And I have enough that I could put a couple. So just kind of press it down so the glue gets all of it and it sticks real good. I'm gonna put some blue. Might need a little more glue, maybe not blue. Let's do. And if you want, you can have the colors touching, you can have the gaps, so you can see through the water bottle if you'd like, that's up to you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on gluing tissue paper to my bottle. All right, so now that I've done all of the little tissue paper, kinda comes out looking like this. It's a bit sticky because it's not dry yet. But once it dries, it'll look really nice. Now, if you need to touch up some spots, like if they're not quite sticking because they've overlapped, you can always put a little more glue. Just a little bit, but it goes a long way. So once you're done, you're going to take your glow stick and kind of crack it. You might need an adult's help with this because it can get a little difficult, a little hard. See how mine's starting to glow? All right, there's my glow stick, and I'll go ahead and put it in my water bottle, and it'll glow just like so. See? Nice little water bottle recycled lantern. And when your glow stick runs out, you can always buy more glow sticks if you want. You can use, do not put an actual candle in there. It will melt the water bottle. So you can get the little electric tea lights, the, those itty bitty lights with the little fake flame to light it up if you like. But yeah, you just put your little glow stick in there and voila, you have a your very own little lantern. I hope you guys have fun with this project. Enjoy. Maybe turn out all the lights in the room and see how it looks. See if it's spooky. Tell stories by your lantern. All right, have fun, enjoy. Thanks for joining me today. Goodbye.